Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of The First Look, I'm going to be your host Vikings and today we're going to take a look at Guacamelee Gold Edition which is an indie action adventure platformer developed and published by Dreambox Studios. So let's take a look at the options menu first of all. None of as you can see over here you got your sound options, controller, the game supports both controller and uh, keyboard, we're going to try with the keyboard obviously, although the controller is recommended. Language options, a couple of video options, and that's about it. Can remap the keys, which is very, very nice. As you can see right here, just press, press the button, there you go. And that's about it with the options, not a lot to worry about. You also have leaderboards. So uh, let's take a look at the game. We're gonna continue where I left off. I played a little bit just to skip all the talk and get a little bit familiar with what it's about. And sadly for me, it's about luchadores, and I just hate the whole concept, the whole thing, I never really liked it, I'm not exactly sure why, but there you go, I never really liked luch the whole luchador thing. So let's uh, move around, this platformer as you can expect, now we're gonna kill some people, there we go, very nice, boom, just smash in their faces, and there we go. 43 hits, Vientos, I'm not sure what Vientos is, but I assume it means good, cool, something like that. Now, use combat moves both for fighting enemies and platforming. So, that's fairly interesting, come on, there we go. Dude thought he can get a fast one up on me. They stand no chance whatsoever. Okay, what's this thing? Can I smash it? Can I do anything with it? Can I pull it? No. Well, no clue what that's all about. I guess I'm just gonna proceed. Okay, so... Die! You little bastard, how dare you hit me. Actually losing a little bit of health, but it's okay. Now, let's see, what do we have over here? Uh-oh. So I guess the boss, stop right there, Luchadoro, order of Carlos Calaca, whatever. I warn you, one step closer and the panther is gonna... That's a panther, no, it's a tiger or something. Okay, are we on a fight today? Come on, I just wanna kill it, dude. Oh crap. Okay, I guess I'm not killing that guy. Right now, I'm not exactly sure what this is. What up, man, bro? One stuff. You got stuffs, abilities, costumes. Yeah, so there are costumes that you can uh, swap in this game that actually change your attributes too, not just your. Uh, appearance and you can also create custom costumes and share them w with other people via steam workshop so that's very nice let's check out the costumes actually Let's see what we have uh, player 2 yes the game does have drop in and out two player local co-op that's available for the entire story so you can play with a friend on a say computer one with a keyboard the other with a controller or two controllers maybe Diablo suit 10 gold medals in El Infierno level, okay. That's gonna take a while. So, ooh, I can get this one. Garden of the Mask, World Crest, Grappler, enough said. High flying kicks and street smarts, okay. Let's take this one, she looks pretty sexy. Let's see what we have over here. Oh, great. Puzzles, platforming puzzles. Come on, let's try not to fail this one. If it's at all possible. No, it's not, I guess. There we go. Ooh. Treasure chest. Okay, what's this all about? How do I... There we go. And I get... Half a mask. Oh, no, 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 no. That was the wrong... Key... The... Come on, really? Oh. Now you're just screwing with me. Let's do this, come on! No, no, really! Okay, so how do I get on that thing exactly? There we go, finally. Guess my jump mechanics aren't quite as good as they used to be. Actually, they never were good, but don't tell anyone that. What are these things? Can I actually jump on those? No, I think I actually have to trigger. There we go. 
found some nice little enemies and now we're gonna totally completely destroy them. Because why not? And I like how you can aim where you throw them. Okay, so space and... Okay. But is that actually gonna help me get up there? No, it doesn't look like it. Unless I'm missing something. Oh, those are spikes. Those aren't good at all. Okay, so space and down. There we go. Hold for a long jump. Okay. Yeah, that didn't, didn't, didn't really work. Oh, crap. I'm losing a lot of light. Yeah, I just suck at this. Tap space to pop. Okay. I'm gonna die. What the heck? Yeah, I forgot this game. Also, the best feature about this game actually is it has tons and tons of chickens. Yes, just what we always wanted. Big, giant chickens. To roll through the spikes. It's awesome sauce. So, left shift. And I can roll through the spikes, okay. I guess like that. Okay, I think I got the idea, kinda. Just kind of. Let's try to get up over here, see what we have. Okay, so I have to roll in me there. There we go. I guess I made it. And oh. Come on. There we go. Take that. Very, very nice. Oh, this is not good. Hate these bone throwing dudes. Boom. <laughs> Yeah, it's pretty fun. We throw them at one another. The game mechanics are okay and the game is quite nice. I just wish it wasn't about luchadores. I just can't stand those things. Okay, come on. Oh, no, 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 no. Dodge, dodge. There we go. Now, uh, get up here, throw him. Perfect. Get up here and finish this dude. So let's try not to screw it up this time. Oh, come on. Okay, grab him. Kill that dude. <laughs> Very nice. There we go. And kill the last dude. Perfect. I rock. Ooh. Shiny. Okay, and what's that supposed to be exactly? Can I interact with it in any way? Ooh, yeah. Money, money, money. Which is very nice. Gonna probably help me buy some more abilities and moves. You also have move list over here, which right now it's pretty empty. So, luchador lift. Up and A. Downer cut. In the air, down and A. And as you can see, you have quite a few moves that you're gonna unlock as you progress. Okay, let's head on over here and see that if there's... Anything else interesting before we end it? Let's check out some abilities. Okay, so we can't afford anything sadly, but that gives you more health, that gives you more stamina, health regeneration, respawn boost, okay, stun boost. Weakens enemies faster, okay, less hits before they can be thrown, that's cool. Performing a devastating suplex with a massive splash. Okay, that's boost. <laughs> Punt enemies far away from you and pile driver, so. This nice couple of abilities, maybe you get more as the game progresses. Now let's see. Come on. There we go. I don't think I can actually break that one. Yeah, let's forget it. Let's just keep going this way. Okay, let's try to... Now, although... I don't have the ability yet. Come on! Later on you're gonna be able to swap between uh, overlapping dimensions, the world of the living and world of the dead, which I suspect is gonna be similar to Janna's sisters, Twisted Dreams, the way that game kinda does. So we're gonna have to see, I'm still wondering what the heck those things are, ooh. That's pretty cool. So I guess we go in here. And get some more nice little gold. 
And a goat, of course, a talking goat. Why not? I broke the Chozo statue or whatever. Okay, now the goat becomes a ugly, smelly, underdressed old dude. Which has quite a few things to say that I'm not particularly interested in right now. Yeah, teach me the fine arts, why don't you? Press up and D to perform this powerful move. Okay, red blocks. See, fine. I told you there was something about those red blocks. This move can break them and it can even be performed in the air. Perfect. If you use it too much, you'll tire yourself out. Okay, I get it. Bye bye, goat. Raster uppercut. Okay. So let's see. Up and D. There we go. So now I can break these, which is very, very nice. Space. There we go. Space up and D, come up. And I'm tired. So anyway, I, like I said, I started platforming and stuff like this. But there you go, guys. You get an idea of the game. Now, the game is uh, available for PC, PlayStation 3 and PlayStation Vita. You can purchase it off Steam or the Sony Entertainment Store. You have all the nested links in the description as usual. And it will set you back around $15 or your original equivalent. Uh, right now it's on a 10% discount on Steam. So there you go guys, this was a look at Guacamole Gold Edition. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to leave me your thoughts, questions and feedback in the comments below. And until next time, you go and have yourselves an awesome day guys.